what if I told you that one day, you could wake up and nothing works? No phone, no internet, no electricity, no GPS, no way to contact your loved ones. And it wouldn't be because of war or hackers. It would come from the sun. Not some science fiction scenario, not in a distant future, but a real possibility in your lifetime. This is the story of solar flares, massive explosions on the surface of our star. They happen all the time, and most of them, harmless. But once in a while, one of them could change everything. So what is a solar flare? Imagine the sun, a raging ball of plasma, constantly shifting, twisting with magnetic fields. Sometimes those magnetic fields snap, and when they do, energy stored in them is violently released in the form of a solar flare. And if it's big enough, it can be followed by something worse, a CME, coronal mass ejection. Think of it as a cloud of billions of tons of charged particles hurled through space at millions of miles per hour. If Earth happens to be in the path, we're in trouble. But how much trouble exactly? In 1859, a solar storm, now known as the Carrington Event, slammed into Earth. Telegraph systems across Europe and North America caught fire. Auroras were seen as far south as the Caribbean. That was in the 19th century, back when electricity barely mattered. Now imagine something like that, hitting us today. According to NASA and NOAA, a storm of that magnitude could knock out satellites, GPS, radio, and power grids, globally. We rely on delicate systems. Satellites for communication, for weather, for planes. Power grids stretched thin. An extreme solar storm could fry transformers, not just for minutes, for months. Hospitals, water systems, transportation, all down. One 2013 study estimated the damage in the U.S. alone could reach 2.6 trillion and take years to fully recover. And here's the part that should really scare you. We might not even see it coming. A solar flare can reach Earth in 8 minutes. A CME, maybe 15 hours. Sometimes we get warnings. Sometimes it's already too late. And yet, you don't hear much about it, do you? NASA tracks space weather. NOAA has a dedicated space weather prediction center. But how often do you hear updates on solar activity? Do you know if there's a major storm heading our way right now? It's like being on a boat in the middle of the ocean and not knowing there's a tsunami coming. So why isn't anyone talking about it? Well, partly because it's rare. Carrington level events are estimated to happen once every 100 to 150 years. We're overdue. But also, because panic doesn't help, governments and agencies are working on solutions. NASA is constantly monitoring the sun. New satellites, like the Parker Solar Probe, are gathering data like never before. Grid operators are learning how to shut down parts of the system in time to let the storm pass before turning things back on. And you? You don't need to live in fear, but maybe a little awareness wouldn't hurt. Keep an emergency kit, some water, batteries, a radio. Pay attention to solar alerts. Yes, they exist. Because the next big one, it's not a question of if, but when. And when it comes, you'll be ready.